Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm doing you what's my soulmate is thinking of me reading for the sign of Capricorn. So uh, before I get into the reading, let me explain you how it is going to be. I will pull three cards uh, from uh, the Rider with deck. I will take a uh, clarifier if I will need to take from the Smith by Tarot deck and I will be taking one card from the Romance and Oracle cards for additional guidance. And um, uh, I am doing daily readings on Instagram if you want to, uh, you know, have daily guidance. Uh, you can, you know, follow me on Instagram and um, if you're willing to get a personal reading, reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. Uh, be mindful of that. It's a general reading. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So, yeah. Let's get into the reading. Let's see what's coming up for the Capricorns for the month of November from their soulmate. What's on their mind about the Capricorns? What is on their mind about the Capricorns? Let's see. What are the energies coming up from your soulmate towards you? What are they feeling for you? What is on their mind about you? The sun god. Hmm. <laughs> They take you as somebody who adds to their happiness, somebody who they want to have a stable life with, somebody, Queen of Pentacles, by the way, and somebody, um, I don't know, with the sun card here, I do pick up that energy very strongly. It's like, you know, they see you as somebody who is a childlike person, who is so enthusiastic, so happy, so talkative somebody um chariot so yeah at the bottom of the deck you do have six of swords so i do believe that they see you as somebody who is always on the move somebody who is um wow i like the energies coming up from uh your soulmate they are thinking very good about you as if uh I, I don't I don't see that you know this it's I don't I don't pick up that energy very strongly it's it's more of something that is still in the you know building process it's not something it's not you know coming from a person who knows you so well it's it's more of a thing uh, that kind of you know attract them towards um you it's it's like you know the thing they liked about you um and they think of you as somebody who can you know who can bring happiness in their life somebody who can uh who can you know um who can get them i don't know with the sun card here i do pick up that energy very strongly coming up for uh you know coming up from them towards you it's it's more like uh after all their you know um all their work, all their, you know, um, routine that they have to follow. When they talk to you or when they see you, that's like, you know, that adds more life to their life. It's um, it's very beautiful energy coming from your soulmate. Uh, they, they, they really look up to see you or look up to or talk to you. Um, they would want to wake up every morning seeing you and they would want to, you know, go to, you know, go to bed talking to you. It's, it's like, it's like, you know, that kind of energy I'm picking up. They want to know you more and more because the more they get to know you, the more they are attracted to you, the more they feel the happiness, joy within themselves, because that's what you bring to them. And it's it's like uh, wow! I love this feeling because it's it's so good. It's positive, and um, they do see you somebody they can uh you know they can um imagine to be their wife. Somebody they can you know plan to uh take the relationship to the next level. Or uh, obviously, it's a general reading. They could be seeing you as their husband too because it's like you know even though it's a Queen of Pentacles, but obviously it's a general reading i cannot gender specify it so yeah for those of you who are you know male or uh, uh, sorry female watching this video they you know um sorry like the opposite you know for those of you um who like if you're a female 
I mean, I mean, you know what I mean, <laughs> so don't get me confused here. So yeah, uh, it's like, you know, um, they do see you somebody as they can, you know, um, they can have a family with somebody they can show or make them, you know, make you meet their family to, uh, you know, uh, to make this relationship or this, you know, the building, it's, it's more like, you know, the building blocks of a relationship that's they want to, um, but I, I do pick up that energy very strongly. The, the, um, the bond that you share with this person, the connection that you both have is very, uh, on a, you know, on a, um, it's, it's, it's not, you know, built yet. It's something that you are building by the passage of time, by, you know, with every second that you live your life, it's like, it's adding more to the base or to the, you know, building blocks of this relationship. It's going to, I, I do pick up very stable energy, you know, by bits and bits, it's going to get strengthened. And this person that you are dealing with, um, this person knows how, I, I do pick up a very mature energy from them. And they do see you as somebody childish because they don't see that part or they see that part missing in them. And it's like, you know, that's one thing that attracts or, you know, pulls them towards you because they feel like, you know, um, you complete them because it's it's like, you know, they, they always, maybe they had, you know, certain responsibilities on their shoulders and they never were able to be that kind of a person. And when they see you, they... I don't know. It's more like, you know, they see their own, um, it's, it's like, you know, um, it's, it's, uh, it's like, oh, oh God, I cannot, you know, even speak right now, but yeah, they do see you as somebody, um, who, with who they can, you know, they can spend their life with and, they would listen to you all night, all day, and without complaining about a certain, about anything at all, because they they love you the way you are. They love you for, uh, for being the, um, being the talkative person. They love you for being the you know, um, somebody who would who would share every little thing about you know that that you want to share it's it's like you know they like everything about you and that's the good thing i would say because um they don't want you to change for them it's it's more like they, like i said they do see you as somebody who is always on the move somebody who is always you know so excited so adventurous somebody who is very uh you know somebody who loves to explore because with the with the six of uh, swords at the bottom of the deck and the chariot card here, they do see you as uh, for those of you who are dealing with somebody who is um you know who likes to travel or something, I I do see that you know this might be one of the one of the key points that kind of you know attracts them to you because you also like the same thing and they do see the movement. It's it's like you know. Maybe their life has been very stuck for some of you. Like, you know, your soulmate's life has been stuck. And it's like when they see you because they see the child in you and they, they, they see the uh, freshness that they wanted or they missed in their life. And it's like every time they see you, it's like um, you, pull to, you pull them towards you with a greater passion, with a greater excitement, with a greater, you know, spark, I would say, because I do pick up that kind of, you know, very um, charismatic energy that, you know, that pulls your soulmate towards you. And, and I do believe that that vibe that you are giving to this person is the key here, because it's, it's like, you know, anybody in the world would get attracted to you during this time, because it's it's more like you know you are vibrant you're colorful you are full of life you have worked on yourself you have detached yourself from the people who are not you know serving you for maybe for ages and it's like that has brought you back the control of your life and it's like you are glowing i would say with the sun card hair and this person wants to move things fast with you and this person wants to get into a relationship with you where you where they know that you know 
but I, I don't know. It's like, you know, they want things to move quickly, but at the same time, they, they want it to be built on a solid grounds. They don't want it to be something that, you know, um, they, they, they want to go about it very maturely. And I do pick up that energy very strongly from your soulmate that this person that you are dealing with is somebody mature. It doesn't have to be, you know, they age, um, uh, you know, uh, they they are too older than you, but I do pick the maturity energy coming from them very strongly. And they see you as their opposite for some of you. And not opposite in negative sense, but it's like, you know, they, they find the missing piece of their puzzle in you. And it's like, you know, that's when the whole... Um, that's why you make them whole and complete. And that's how they see you as... And um, it's really a very beautiful energy. And I do see that, um, I do believe the person that you are dealing with is very, you know, um, balanced. And they see you as somebody who is jumping from here to there. It's it's like, you know, that kind of energy. They see you as that, uh, that kind of a person who... Um, and the, the most beautiful thing is I don't see that, you know, that this person that you are dealing with wants to control you. They don't have that energy coming with them. And I think that's the key where they will attract you towards them. Because I believe you have been in a relationship before where you were... Um, you were, you know, I, I, I remember I did your maybe uh, October reading or before that... Uh, the energy was very, you know, toxic that was coming from your, you know, from your partner that time. And uh, that's why you wanted to detach yourself or, you know, just, you know, walk away from that person. And that energy, that, you know, that, that thing that pushed you or, you, you know, that thing that pushed you away from that, you know, ex of yours. I don't believe that this person is not like that. And this person is going to give you the room that you want. This person will give you the space that you need to grow as a person. And, you know, this person will be always by your side. And um, they definitely, you know, they don't want to, you know, just, um, you know, um, they don't want to put you in a cage or something. They want you to be as bubbly as you are right now. And they want to pamper you. They want to love you. But giving you the space that you want. They don't want to suffocate you with their love and expression of, uh, you know, their... Um, uh, it's, it's more like, you know, they want to give you the room, I believe. And they, they will never, you know... Um, they will never stop you from anything. I, I do pick up that energy very strongly. Because this person is so grounded. This person is so um mature he, he or she would not put any sort of you know uh they don't want to uh bind you into something that you wouldn't want to be you know uh binded in it's 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 more like they will set you free and they will make their love so pulling for you to be you know attracted to them all the time Rather than they, you know, keeping you, you know, holding you so tight and just don't letting you breathe or stuff like that. The, this person that you are dealing with is going to love you the way you are. They are not going to put any restrictions on you or in your life and they will let you be who you are. Because that's exactly what attracted them towards you. And they don't want that to, you know, miss anyways. And it's like, you know, that's the key point for them because they love you for who you are. They don't want you to change for them or for anybody else in the matter uh, in your life. And it's uh, it's it's very positive energy. They, they do see you somebody, um, somebody that brings them life or that brings them back to life. You know, after having a very tough day at work or something, they, when they see you, when they see your name on their phone, it's like, you know, that just, you know, that just, you know, make their uh, make their day so beautiful and all. So that's the kind of a person that you are dealing with. And um, yeah, let's see what's the Romance and Jericho cards has to say about your soulmate. What um, and what's the guidance that is coming up for uh, for the two of you? Um since it's a general reading, the energies could be reversed for some of you and uh, be mindful of that too. To get a personal reading or to get a more, you know, detailed account of your particular situation, you can reach out to me on the uh, on my email ID. 
So yeah, let's see what's the additional guidance from the Rans and Jericho cards from your soulmate, what is on their mind about you and how they see this relationship going. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. So like I said, uh, there is this, you know, difference of, um, like I said, you are opposite or maybe, you know, too different from each other. But the thing is, the, you know, the, the, the thing that we say opposite attracts or something like that. It's going to be something it's more like you know this person has to be this way the way they are maybe because of the responsibilities they got uh, on their shoulder early in the age or it could be it could be anything but this person um see their missing part in you and maybe you you would uh you um I don't know. I, I do pick up that energy from you uh, very strongly that you will take time to, you know, get this, uh, to get in love or, you know, get in, yeah, to fall in love with this person, I would say. But um, like I said, in the, in the middle of the reading, uh, there is going to be this pull of, uh, uh, you know, pull uh, that you would feel for, for that person uh, in, in near future. It's not going to be an instant pull as it is for the other person that you are dealing with. Your soulmate is going to get attracted to you the, the time they, they see you. And that's exactly, I believe that has already happened for uh, for most of you. Uh, because I do see this relationship kind of, you know, um, still on the, uh, you know, primary stages, I would say. So, uh, yeah, but for, for the Capricorns, I do pick up that energy very strongly that you will take your time to uh to accept this uh coming from this person because you don't you don't want to get trapped into the previous kind of a relationship that you had but um and you will see for yourself like you know either uh you know um uh, sorry no, no doubt that this person loves you no doubt this person will shower all their love upon you but like i said this person is not gonna you know hold you tight this person is going to let you breathe and let you be free and as 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 free as you want to be uh they won't put any restrictions on you they 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 know because they are grounded they are you know uh, they don't have any um i would say um self doubts or something because i do pick a very mature energy coming up with this person that you are dealing with so um And I do believe that you wanted to have this kind of a person in your life because you have seen a, the complete opposite of a person in your, you know, in your ex. And this person, when this person comes around, you would value him for who he or, you know, who she is. Because, um, but yeah, I do pick up that energy. This person might not be, you know, you might, in the very beginning, you might feel like, you know, this person is too mature for your kind, but, um, but trust me, this is what you wanted because you have been into the other kind of a thing and it didn't work out because you, you felt stuck, you felt, um, you know, trapped. So this is exactly what you wanted and you never realized it before and you will realize it by the passage of time as, as much time as you would spend with this person, you would realize that this is how you wanted your man to be or girl to be. So yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for the uh, month of November from your soulmate and I wish you all the best if you um if you don't want to miss out the daily readings that I do on Instagram, follow me there and yeah, I will see you in the next reading that I'll do for you people. Till then, take care, bye-bye.